Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I've been getting a few questions about my choice of guitars and modifications and stuff like that, so I figured I'd make a quick little video just to kind of run you through it. Um, I primarily play V's and star body shapes. Uh, I've been playing these shapes for 30 years or more at this point. And uh, for me personally, uh, there's not really a whole lot of guitars that I can just pick off of shelf and it has all my specifications. So I kind of have to mod them anyways. Um, I've even had more expensive models of these Jacksons here and I didn't like them as much. And they had active pickups and I don't really use active pickups. And I would know, I would've had to completely gut the guitar and devalue the crap out of it. So. These work out better for me because they've got like, for the most part, with the exception of some of these older ones, I really like no paint on the necks. But to just throw, show you some of the modifications that I do on this one right here, this is my newest one. And uh, I do, a, I get rid of the tone knob and I put the volume knob in the tone knob position and um, because that kind of gets in the way of my hand. So that's one of the modifications I do. I've been using the Duncan JB Jazz set for quite a quite a while now, almost all my guitars. And then uh, the other modification that I like to do is I take the strap button and I put it here. Uh, on a V, you know, you don't really get the headstock dive too much, but this to me was just weird. So I just went ahead and did the same thing that I do that. But in the case of some of these other guitars, it keeps the neck heavier the headstock dive like this guy right here with this big old headstock on it see the same thing i just put the strap button there it's like a shaler style strap lock and uh same thing here you know uh, tone knob delete and uh duncan jb jazz in the case of this one right here um i've got the dogtown custom shop huffbucker in here and uh yeah, that tone, that volume knob, believe it or not, is just barely out of the way. But same thing. This right here eliminates that headstock dive. You can see from the factory they put it there, and that's just terrible. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and more playthroughs and more music is on the way. Cheers.